What we're teaching here is not something we made up. It's more like something true that we have discovered and have uniquely taught, as opposed to made some shit up out of our head. You know, so the, the, the glaring thing is that we didn't make up the black man's gut. That's always been true. And it's not something that we, we found. Maybe we could say discovered it or we affirmed it, but our unique reality is that we teach it in a unique way and to unique people, right? Because since the white man's been here, at least we could say with distinct, um, pretty much, I'd love for you guys to find the difference um, otherwise in your research, but no one really has found this knowledge of self saying man is God, and I'll leave it there generically, and taught youth that. And then, then said maybe adults later, it's always been the opposite way, where they always, you know, one had to go up the ranks and, and be an aged man and be, be um, you know, respectful enough and, and mature enough to get, this, to get this knowledge. It's the opposite, like we find the maturity within the youth. And that maturity in the youth is that they're willing to accept things not to be true. So it's almost their disrespect, right? Because the glorious thing about the youth is their disrespect of what isn't proven to them, right? They're always told what to do, but they don't respect it if it's not really proven. And so they, get, they might get into trouble because some of it is, some of it isn't, right? That's the youth. But with the youth, if you do prove something to them, they'll hold to it. And they'll hold to it better than any old person that doesn't know anything or, or didn't know this truth. Um, because they're not tied down by life. They're not tied down by job, responsibilities, um, and the consistency of, of, of completing those responsibilities, right? Because sometimes admitting that the black man is God, changing your religion or getting rid of religion, really, that could change a man's social standing, you know? He might not even work in the same place. Like, think about it, you know? And that's why we have kind of levels to getting this, levels to, to getting this knowledge over the years in history. Mm. So when we had Elijah, he was giving you an institution like, yo, let's replace that institution with this institution. But the father didn't see fit to that. He was like, yo, it's free. Time is free enough. We don't have to do that. We don't have to worry about, you know, adhering to a populace or a community like that. In fact, sadly, the reason the father could so easily teach is because the communities were already unraveled. There is no community strength anyway. So it's not like people are tied together by Christian ties and they're getting jobs and good morals into their children and things like that. None of that is... Gen you know, generally true. Not in, especially not in New York, 1960s. So that's all been tossed away, right? If Mega did this.